Man. Oh, man. The Huntsman Winter's War, or Snow White and the Huntsman Winter's War, is a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman that no one was asking for. And, yes, I am calling it The Huntsman Winter's War because this movie does not deserve to be called, to have the Snow White name in this title. For the longest time, the... I knew something was not going to be right about this movie. I just knew it. It's about trailers and, st and production history. I knew The Winter's War would not be an improvement over Snow White and the Huntsman. This has been a rushed production. It had to have been a, a rushed sequel. And it turned out to be true to by the critics and people. This movie is nothing but an unnecessary sequel. It's just like we're right along to. And for my own protection, I hope this movie fails. I hope no one, nobody, none of you goes out to see it. I hope no one buys this on DVD and Blu-ray compact. I can't stress a movie like this on your shoulders. So let's get to, to the story of this movie. The plot of this movie is that Faria, who is really heartbroken, she's betrayed by her evil sister, Ravina. And she retreats to a northern kingdom to raise an army of huntsmen as her protectors. Gifted with the ability to freeze her enemies in ice, Freya teaches her younger soldiers to never fall in love. When Eric and fellow warrior Sarah defy this world, the angry queen Ravina does what she can to stop them. As war between the siblings escalates, Eric and Sarah unite with Freya to end Ravina's wicked reign. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Joshua, if you didn't like Snow White and the Huntsman, why are you, why did you put yourself through the Huntsman Winter's War? My mom even told me myself, Josh, you don't have to look at this, this movie if you don't want to. I even told myself that. Man, I should have listened. I should have listened to what my feelings were telling me about this movie. I... Because I don't have anybody to blame but myself for looking at this movie. Okay, I'm going to start off with my positives first because that's the only way I'm going to get this out of the way. I like the cast. I like Chris Hemsworth again. I like Charlie Stern again, even though she's barely in the film. I even like Jessica Chastain and I like Emily Blunt as um, Freya who is supposed to be Elsa in, because she has the Ice Queen powers. The The music is good. Liam Neeson as a narrator, he was alright. He was good as a narrator. The cinematography looks nice. The special effects are fantastic. I like how the production design and costume design is. And I... I and... I did love the action sequences. Now, to get into the stuff I really dislike about this movie. This movie tries to be a prequel and a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman. It tries to take place before and after that movie. Universal. I, I know about your, your troubled past with Dr. Seuss the Cat in the Hat. I know what happened between that production. Why can't you? Why can't we get a good sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman to make up for the the lousiness of Snow White? Why do you? Why do you? Did you make a freaking sequel to Ride Along Two? I didn't like Ride Along One. I didn't like Ride Along Two. I didn't like Snow White and the Huntsman, and I didn't like this movie. So what makes that any different? You want to know what else that, make, that, that makes me mad about this movie? This movie has the nerve to, to rip off the Disney movie from 2013. When Disney's Frozen is better than The Huntsman Winter's War. Or Snow White, or sequel, or whatever you want to call this. What's wrong with y'all? Because I love Frozen. Ah, oh, this, this movie, oh my goodness. Five years, 
two attempts. This is your second attempt, Universal, at a Snow White movie, and you still messed it up. Who gets two chances to make a dark and serious Snow White movie? I know, I, I know, I know the Snow Mirror Mirror isn't isn't yours, Universal, but still, who gets two chances to make Snow a Snow White movie? And both movies just completely. It does not fit the description of awesomeness. I'm sorry. I this movie is two hours and three minutes long. This movie is way too long. I got bored between the first act and the second act. Nothing interesting happens until the action happens. Another, okay, I can get I can say it right now I can give this movie another A plus. Christian Stewart turned this movie down. I can give the movie A plus because Christian Stewart she probably read the script and knew this movie was going to fail. And so far this movie is only just barely even making its budget back at 161 million dollars. 150 million dollars, where did the money go? And the biggest thing that makes me upset about this movie is this is getting into spoiler territory at the end of this movie. I don't like when they kill the, the, the Ice Queen. I was very upset. Uh, and, pe and people say this movie is better than Snow White and the Huntsman. How? Both of these movies aren't even complete. Look. The fight in Snow White and the Huntsman was better than the fight in this movie because Snow White actually killed um, the evil queen. And it took more than however minutes in this movie, than how many minutes it took in that movie. I can't believe I'm saying Snow White and the Huntsman is a better movie. Do y'all not see a pattern here? People hate on Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. I have fun, I love that movie. People hate on X-Men Apocalypse. I have fun with that movie. People had on. People give t Pixels, Terminator, Genesis, and Mad Max Fury Road, and Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Hate. I have. I love those movies. I have fun with those movies. I didn't. I had no fun with the Huntsman: Winter's War or Snow White and the Hunts Huntsman. Universal, just do me a. Do not. Do not make no more Snow White and the Huntsman sequels. Do not make no more sequels to Ride Along. I please. Keep keep doing Fast and Furious movies until you get to part 10. Universal, for my own protection, you do not need Snow White and the Huntsman as your next franchise. You got Back to the Future. You got E.T. You got, you got Jaws. You got Pitch Perfect. Look, look, you got a 10 movie long series with Fast and the Furious. And you got a three movie long trilogy that ends next year with Anna Kendrick and Rebel Wilson. You even got a franchise with dinosaurs. Don't sit in your chairs, studio executives and Universal and say, we need Snow White and the Huntsman as a franchise because we need more money. When Snow White, when, when Jurassic Park, Pitch Perfect and Fast and Furious are your most profitable franchises, then Snow White, something's wrong. Sure, Snow White is a classic fairy tale, but she ain't making you no more money. <laughs> She's not gonna do anything to save this at the box office. Whatever money this movie makes by the end of its theatrical release, that's it. This movie's gone out of my head. And I have not even seen this one movie yet, but people, go see, see, go see The Fifth Wave. Go see The Fifth Wave. <laughs> if, you, if you couldn't tell what my rating for The Huntsman Winter's War is, down about to tell you. Mega F Plus, 
my rainbow seal of disapproval and I skipped this movie out of five. This is the gotta be the worst Snow White movie. Even even out of Mirror Mirror. Even out of the Twilight movies. The Twilight Saga movies are in my guilty pleasure movies of the week. Has ice froze over? Fire and ice has frozen over. I'm done. Universal, you have messed up twice with Snow White. That I'm done. I'm done. So, if you were the ones who were unlucky to see this movie, let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think of this movie? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And if you like it, please tell me why. Who like who who is nobody can defend this. Nobody can defend the Huntsman Winter's War. I'll see you guys.